Okay, we are on the line with, with Elizabeth Taylor. Not the actress slash perfume mogul, but she has made a name for herself in a big way. This, Elizabeth Taylor, is a Jamaican-born entrepreneur who, after experiencing troubling health concerns, decided to ch change her entire lifestyle, um, which has increased her health, the, 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 the goodness of her health, and she's lost 246 pounds. Elizabeth, or Isabel in Espanol, how are you? I am wonderful, thank you so much. 246 pounds over what period of time? Oh my gosh, okay, approximately, I would say about two years. Impossible. Can I be do? Is there really well, such a thing? There is, it's shocking, even to myself, and I was there. <laughs> So tell me what the catalyst was. Um, you were working, you, you're a makeup artist, am I right? Yes. Yes, yes I am. And you just got to a point where the weight was affecting your physical as well as your mental state. So talk me through that. Yeah. It, well, I mean, one of the things that definitely shocked me but shouldn't have shocked me was, you know, being diagnosed with diabetes at one point. I thought oh, you know, I'll, I'll not be one of those people that will get diagnosed with that. I'll be fine. I'll figure it out when that happens or if it were to ever come close, I'll figure it out. But it happened and I didn't know what to do. I was lost. So uh, that along with having hip issues, trying to walk properly and I'm a makeup artist. I have to carry equipment and that was becoming almost impossible. And so stand all the time. Had, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. no bueno, no bueno. And you had tried other no. times, but it nothing had worked. And so this time you were like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Liz, <laughs> it's time, Liz. <laughs> this time. Exactly me. <laughs> yeah, so tell me what you did know. When that straw came, that broke you back, and you said, no, this time is different. Honestly, I, I still have to give it up to pandemic. As terrible of a time as that was for many people, I decided to use that as a propeller to get me in the right track. And I, I had nothing to do but figure my life out. So I went to online sources and started doing my research. What can I do? What will stick? What, you know, I don't want to just have some fad diet. I don't want to just take pills or whatever. I wanted to finally take this seriously. So I did my research and I started doing keto and it really propelled things for me because I, I was a carb addict, if you mm -hmm. will, hard over and <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, fried dumplings. So I really had to slow down with those things, and I figured the best way to do it is to go cold turkey. Maybe the keto would at least pull me away from those things and help me focus on my healthy fats. Okay, so keto is not for everybody, but this was your no. choice because you, you didn't want to do the fad. You wanted to change your lifestyle because when you go keto, it's a complete lifestyle change. So you're cutting out the it bread. Is. No more fried dumpling for you, Liz. Um, you know, it's difficult though. It must have been hard, especially when you're a carb addict. You miss it. It's almost like, you know, how do you crave and curb that addiction? It's all in your head. Because ah. You realize it's a mental strength, you know? And when I finally realized I was serious, I was like, hold on, this time feels different. I'm suddenly not sabotaging myself. I'm actually doing this like this is actually going to happen and i realized when uh, there's a thing called keto flu where you kind of get yes. sort of lightheaded and these crazy things start happening and when i surpassed that i was like wow that's it i'm mm -hmm. in this for life mm -hmm. you know yeah keto yeah. flu no nice it's not a nice no feeling. it's not <laughs> a nice feeling. yeah um i love what you just said though it's all in your head because yeah. it really is if you don't have the will to do it you will never ever get through it Absolutely. It's, it's near impossible. If you, and I tell people that all the time. They say, well, what did you do? I'm like, it's not so much what I did. It's what my mind was doing, ah. you know? And once you're mentally ready, you, there's a, any, any system you decide to follow will work because your mind is there. Yeah. It's that first. Yeah. Good talk. Mm -hmm. Good talk. So um, the article says, so how exactly did this agent of change accomplish this seemingly impossible mission? Her transformation consists of four words. One meal a day, Liz? Yes. Still? Still? <laughs> it's still my lifestyle. That's all I do. 
one meal a day. Okay, but, and, but, but uh, hold on now, Liz, because you're, you're telling yeah. us you're healthily doing this. And we yes. read that if you, if you have, but has one meal a day, it's going to hold on to it because that's all it's getting. So are, uh, is that a healthy way? It is. And it's all about, again, figuring out what's right for you. For me, what I wanted to do, because what I, technically I was one mealing a day anyways with my career, I was on the road and I, you know, I never wanted to eat in front of clients. So I was really just, but I would have unhealthy things. I would go home and say, oh my gosh, I had such a wonderful long day. I deserve this big burger and fries. But I really just needed things that would satiate me. So what I started doing was the OMAD, which is technically one meal a day, which sounds ridiculous and extreme. However, if you do your research, you realize that you can actually put all of your healthy calories, whatever it is that you need for the day, all into in one, one meal. So it's not that right. I don't get them. Right, I right. get everything but at one time. And look how you eat. So at the beginning of the week, you make oxtail, barbecue ribs, jerk chicken, curry goat, <laughs> And then you portion it out for each day and you warm it up and then you add your avocado or in Jamaica we say pear and you're, pear. Good, to, and you're good to go. So, and so that one meal consists of how many calories? Oh man, it's probably about 1,500. Okay, that's not yes. bad. Yeah, because your, your body needs what? <laughs> the RDA is 1,500 to 2,000, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. I okay. mean, when I started, mind you, I did have to go on a deficit. So it was a little bit lower, it was maybe about 11. But, you know, slowly as I was at the right size and now I needed to maintain and now I'm working out a lot more. I wasn't doing anything back then. I was able to bring it up. So tell me about the workout now, because 1,500 calories and then working out the way you work out, girl. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Tell me about oh the routine. Yeah. Well, I, it's crazy how I still have energy still. But, uh, yeah, I, I work out very hard. I love to lift. I'm definitely a lifter. I love to lift heavy. I go to the gym. Uh, if it's not squat, deadlifts, you know, free weights, whatever. I have free weights at home now. Pandemic allowed me to acquire quite a bit of equipment in my house. So I am always making moves. Uh, I started out doing about 200 steps and now I'm at 20,000 steps a day. Yes, girl. And you're now helping others on their wellness journey, Elizabeth. Yeah. Yes. And that's the best part for me because I always, my whole career, my whole focus, my dream was to help people. And I never thought it would catalyst into something like this. Like I thought I would just be making them look beautiful for events for the rest of my life. But and you are, like, but you are. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> now it's more of a permanent change yeah. and it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So are you still MUAing or? I am. Okay. I am. Still so, my full time career, and I'm able to do it properly now. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and after you sleek us up, then you just beat our faces. That's what we call it in the industry, everybody. When your face yes. is beat, yes. and then we're good to go. Wow, Liz, this is a really amazing story. Uh, if you Thank want to find you. out more about you or follow you to, or get your help on our own wellness journey, where do we find you? Definitely. I mean, social media is a thing. So definitely on Instagram at Faces by Pureness. And I have a website, www.facesbypureness.com. You can connect with me there. Yes, it is about my services, but you can always connect with me. I'm open to speak with anybody. Fantastic. And where in the world are you this morning? I am in Toronto, Canada. And, and you, live in, you live in Toronto? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, we're happy for you. What's for lunch today? Oh, well, it is definitely going to be fried chicken wings. <laughs> See, there? Liz is not even starving herself. I love that for you. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing your story Thanks. with us, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Because all this time, we think we need to have boiled, boiled chicken, and your food can have taste if you choose the right things. All right. Prompta is not moving, so I'm just going to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. Where are we headed? News? All right. Thank you, Elizabeth Taylor. News is next. Stay with us. Our new Miss Universe Jamaica, Tashami Calvin, is on standby. We're going to introduce you to her right after we take care of some business over by Studio B with the second edition of News It Five.